morning everyone it's Natalie and today it's breakfast at my house and I want a peg cake what's a peg cake you say well it's a keto pancake made out of eggs to me it does not taste like eggs and it's not a chaffle okay <laughs> a lot of chaffle recipes out there I haven't even made a chaffle I do have a chaffle maker but I haven't made a truffle yet. This is gonna be a big old pancake, peg cake. I call it peg cake because it's made out of eggs, three eggs, okay? And it's gonna be one serving a piece, and it's really good. I have ate this for an entire year since I started keto, a few times a month to once a week. And it has not affected me in any way. It has satisfied my pancake craving, and especially, especially my peanut butter and syrup on peg, <laughs> peg cake craving, on pancake craving, but this is peg cake, okay? So let me get to the ingredients and we'll get start making our peg cake. First off, this peg cake is extremely simple. You'll be amazed how it turns out. So. The base of our peg cake is, of course, eggs, and there's three large eggs into some kind of bowl that's big enough where you can whip this up. I use a fork, and then in that bowl, you're going to add one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. I have not made it with half and half. It might work, so that'll be your own discretion. I use one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream into the eggs. And then we're gonna put one teaspoon of cinnamon in there. I should have separated these spoons. I have heavy whipping cream everywhere. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon into there. Seems like a lot, but it's necessary. We don't want this to taste like eggs. We want it to take like a pancake, right? And then I'm gonna put one, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can get it open. Huh. There we go. One teaspoon of vanilla, I mean a half teaspoon of vanilla. Okay and a half teaspoon of maple extract. Be careful on your extracts that you're buying out there. Some of them have sugar in there. I buy the organic kind and I get this maple one for like five bucks off of Amazon that has no sugar added to it. So that's a half teaspoon of maple extract, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, let me put my lids on here. And then, I'm gonna use liquid stevia. I have not used powdered sweeteners in here. It might work. That'll be your own discretion too. But uh, we're going in with 10 to, 20, uh, 10 to 15 drops of stevia, or 20, depends on how sweet you want it. I'm gonna be putting peanut butter and syrup on here, so I don't need it that sweet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Eyeball it. And now we're just gonna poke the oats, whip her up. You're also gonna need a tablespoon of butter and that's gonna go down in your frying pan. Let me get this whipped up, and we'll start cooking our egg peg cake. But I just whip it up. You know, the cinnamon gets on the side here. I just scrape it off so I can get it all down in here, right? Do the best you can. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a pancake. All right, we're going to get to cooking it. Okay, I got an eight inch omelet pan, <coughs> excuse me, with a tight fitting lid. <coughs> Sorry about that. 
You need a pan that has a tight fitting lid, a saute pan or a frying pan. Uh, you could do a 10 inch, it's just gonna be a thinner pancake, but larger. So whatever you wanna do, I use an eight inch. I'm gonna get this onto a medium low heat setting here. My flame looks like this, okay? Or if you have electric, put it on medium low. We're gonna put a tablespoon of butter in there. I'm using Kerrygold, but you can use whatever butter you use in there. That's about a tablespoon, I did not measure. Okay, we're gonna get that melting in there. I want it melted before I add my egg. My peg mix right here. I'm just making sure it's nice and whipped up. We do have heavy whipping cream in there. I'm not sure about the half and half, but I think it will work if that's what you use and you don't use heavy whipping cream. But I don't think coconut cream or almond cream would work. We're using it to make it that bread consistency and for lift. And those two, I don't think are going to do that. Sorry. So I'm going to whip this up again. And I'm going to pour that right into the pan. I'm trying to get all that peg mix out of there. Washing my hands. I got some egg on it. I don't like sticky stuff on my hands. I don't know about you. Dries my nuts. So I'm gonna pop the lid on here and we're gonna cook this until it rises all the way to the top up here and is set without flipping it, okay? You can come in, where my spatula go? You need a spatula. You can come in and kind of move this around at first to get some more egg on the bottom, but I prefer not to. I just leave it alone. Make sure it's on a medium low so you don't burn your peg and it should be fine, okay? I will come back when this has rose to the top and show you the consistency we're looking for for the flip, okay? Patience is a virtue and definitely with this. Depends on how high you have heat and all that is how long this will take, okay? It's, only, it's been less than a minute. Let's see, that's very liquidy, but it's starting to set. That's why you need a lid so it acts like an oven and help you out there. I'm just cooking it until it sets here. bubbles forming and it's going to start lifting okay and rising like a souffle if you ever made a souffle I want a nice crust on the bottom there to look like a pancake for a pancake too that's why we're doing it like this. You could flip it if you wanted, if you're worried about burning. Okay, I'm not. It's almost there. It's gonna start to rise and bubble. Now I'm looking to see if we're set. Sometimes it will fill this entire lid, sometimes it won't. Depends on how much air I put into it, but it will when I flip it. We're good. See, it's starting to really bubble and rise. I want you to see that. See that? That's a good spot. I'm going to go ahead and flip. I'm going to come in here. Yes. Oh, it broke a little bit. That's fine. Not worried about that. Put your lid back on. 
and watch this sucker rise, okay? I'm just cooking in it a little bit more, making sure everything's done. And we don't want raw egg or chewy egg. We want pancake. We want a peg cake. It's gonna fill this entire lid here. When I lift this lid up, it will deflate. This isn't our finished size, so don't worry about the cracks or anything like that. See how it's filling this entire pan? And when I pull this lid off, it will deflate like a souffle would deflate if you screwed up. <laughs> but screwing up on this recipe is what you want. It's not a screw up. It's a must. All right, so we're getting really good. I just kind of eyeball how full this thing gets. Now I'm going to pop this lid off. Watch it go down. Oh, it stuck to it. <laughs> That's funny. That's the first time. But anyways, there it is. The jiggly. It's done. It is definitely done. So I want you to see this. So let me turn you when I flip this peg cake out onto my plate. I want you to see. Now it works. I just take the pan and I dump it. And there's my pancake. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, not exactly. Oop, butter's in the way. Hold on, hold on. It's gonna taste like a peg pancake, but I did not say it would absolutely look like one. If I did, I was wrong. All right, I'm not sure if I did or not. I personally like to put, don't judge me on this, I am, uh, you know, I, what I'm trying to say, I only like Skippy Natural peanut butter. I don't like that oily peanut butter, okay? So I'm going to put peanut butter on that, and that is uh, four, car, four net carbs for two tablespoons of this. I'll probably use about two tablespoons. Yes. It's a more higher carb breakfast for me, but that's okay. It's going to keep me full all day. And you can add Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup or whatever sugar-free syrup you use. This doesn't have the best ingredients, right? So that's why I eat this in moderation. But I also do have the new Lacanto, well, new for me, maple syrup, which doesn't have bad ingredients. So... Either or, I only have a little bit of Mrs. Butterworth left, so I'm going to use Mrs. Butterworth and put that on there. I notice I'm crooked. Hold on. be much better for you to use almond butter. Peanuts are really not keto. They're legume. But to me, in my diet, I've, like I said, I've been having this since I started keto. I have lost 66 pounds or 67 pounds now, so it hasn't steered me wrong. And I'm going to put less than two tablespoons on there. You can measure it out. I'm not going to. I, like I said, I've been doing this the entire year. I know my amounts. I'm just spreading it on there. You also can just add butter to it and eat it. Remember, you added the stevia in there. So it is sweet. Okay. Just adding some peanut butter on there. It's better to do it right away when you get out of the pan because then the peanut butter melts. I just don't like natural or organic peanut butter that has the oily stuff you have to stir in and everything. Yuck. To me. But it's better for you. So you should use that. Okay. Mmm. So good. Anyways, I'm just going to eyeball some syrup on there. I'm going to have two or three pieces of bacon with this. And that's my breakfast. So good. Let's go ahead and give a taste. You can make
make this extremely low carb if you don't add any nut butter on top. It would be just the carb count for the eggs. Eggs have about 0.3 per an egg. And then the one carb per your heavy whipping cream, if that's what you count. Mine says zero carbs, but it's probably one carb. And if you're just starting keto, you should car count one carb for your heavy whipping cream. So you can make this about a two carb breakfast, okay? Um, I added peanut butter. You heard it's four carbs, four net carbs for two tablespoons on there. For this breakfast, with my two pieces of bacon and my syrup, I'm counting about five or six carbs. Really, my carbs are my peanut butter. So let's go ahead. I'll show you. That is the egg pan pancake. Nice and thick. And we're going to eat it. <laughs> Mm. There is a slight egg fa flavor to it. You know, you can't get away from that. You used eggs. You know, but with the peanut butter and syrup on top, it really tricks my mind to think I'm having a peanut butter pancake. You can take this, put it in a waffle maker. Be careful, it's going to rise a lot. And make a toffle out of it if you wanted. And all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's one of my staples that I <laughs> can't even stop eating it. One of my staples since I started keto and it's helped me lose six, 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 seven pounds on keto. So I hope you enjoy it. Make you a pancake. Yum, yum. Bye.